I'm here with legendary Hall of Famer Wade Chalice. And every single year, Wade, we just love to be a part of this. It's, it's what really kicks off that wrestling season. The college wrestling season is this big event with all these great athletes. Absolutely. Beginning of the year, this is like the preseason NCAA championships. It's individual dual meet, but these guys are all selected by their peers to show up and be part of this event. And it's a great event. It's going to be some great matches. I mean, parts. coming up here right now oh. with Jared Patterson, Oklahoma, and Nashawn Garrett from Cornell, two very capable guys, two guys that were all Americans, Patterson being number seven, Nashawn Garrett being number three in the country. So this should be a real barn burner. And I, I really think Nashawn has got that real athletic ability. Real, real tough kid. You know, Wade, what are they looking for here right out of the gate? You know, they're feeling each other out. They're both very capable guys. What are you doing right here at the beginning of a match? Well, you're trying to look for openings and patterns to, us, uh, to emerge. You step one way, he steps another. You reach one way, he reaches another. You're trying to see if the guy's going to follow a certain pattern. So you know later in the match, second, later in the first period or second period, if you reach a certain way, you're going to get a certain response. And then you can come back and, you know, and shoot off offside of that to get away from their response. And uh, so early on, sometimes you just open up and you blast into somebody because they're thinking you're going to feel them out and you're not, and you attack. It's almost like a, it's almost like a, a chess match between these two guys, sit, figuring out how they can get their setups to work later on in the match. Absolutely. It's, wrestling's a physical chess match. You, you hit it right on the nose on, on the head there. Uh, both the kids are very competent. They're both very quick. Uh, uh, Patterson is really good with swing singles and low at the ankle singles. Uh, Garrett is just an athlete across the board. He can slip and slide out of things, good defense. Uh, he can come on the offense. I look for Patterson shortly here to you know, jump in on a low single here and see what uh, 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 Garrett can do, yeah, can do to Garrett, stop it. You know, Nick Sean Garrett, I had seen him wrestle a couple times last year. He is a guy that will keep coming for the whole seven minutes, not to take anything away from Jared Patterson, but I like this matchup early on, and I really do. You know, tell us, tell us, Wade, what, did, what how do you prepare for an event this early at this high a level in the season? You know, obviously you peak during the year to get ready for the, the conference championships. You peak to get ready for the NCAAs. But something so close to the beginning of the year, is it a different kind of mentality for these guys? Well, I think you're not going to get in, you know, a mid-season form early on in the year, here, nor should you, because you have to go through the whole season and stay in one piece and get ready mentally for the NCAA championships. As long as they're in some level of conditioning, you know, early on, get to get some rust out of their pipes, and uh, then when they come in here, they're not really care so much about. It. Certainly, they want to win. They're here to win. But this particular match early in the year, it doesn't count on their record. It doesn't go to their NCAA. It doesn't count towards seeding. It's just an all-star match. It's fun to watch. And so what we wanted to do is reduce the anxiety that both athletes feel. So there's not much other than personal pride involved. So they're in shape. They're ready to go. And they're going to slip and slide with the best of them here. It, 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 you don't really spend your time on this because you're working, working it toward the NCAA championships at the end of the year. You know, Patterson, uh, being a redshirt senior, you know, this is his last go-around. Nashawn still has a, a very bright future ahead of him. He's took third as a true freshman. Uh, you know, he's ranked in all the preseason rankings. But Jared Patterson, you know, uh, going into a senior season, a redshirt senior season, I think you have that, that confidence, that swag about you, that you say, you know, this is my time. As Nashawn Garrett gets on a beautiful single, nice little funk move there by Patterson to neutralize it. Single pick it up, funk wrestling, dive in between the legs, got the ankle now. He has to pick up uh, Nishan's left, on, left hand here and sit up into a finish Peterson. At the end of one, no score, Wade, but let me tell you, that was a fantastic move by Patterson to get out of that. Uh, you know, most people, Nishan Garrett finishes on most guys when he gets a leg in on like that. You know, they mostly, most of these high-end kids do, but what the high-end kid does is not only does he have an offense, but he has a defense. When you come in and take a good shot, you get a good shot, you know, they have that secondary, you know, that funk, they'll dive between your legs, they'll come up on top. You know, they have so many things they can hit you with, and you never know where, you know, where you're going to get caught. They show and Garrett takes down in the second period. Patterson tried to keep the weight on his hands, but that didn't work. Nishan got to his feet and working on hand control. He's out for one. That was beautiful the way Nishan got his hips out there, got that quick one. You got a minute 46 seconds left in the second period, no riding time. Uh, he didn't tack on any riding time there, so they're back on their feet. Well, for the younger wrestlers out there who are watching want to know the technique, when you're riding someone, uh, what he didn't do there is, is uh, uh, Patterson needed to get more weight of Nishan onto his hands. When, you know, if, if the bottom wrestler can keep all his weight back over his hips, over his legs, he can stand up. 
top guy, he's, you've got to push him forward, continually move his action forward, get his weight onto his hands into a push-up position, and that keeps him down. You let the, when the weight comes off the hands, they're going to get up and they're going to come out. That's exactly what happened. Patterson didn't do that. You know, let's speak a little bit about these two coaching staffs. I mean, you know, you got Mark Cody at Oklahoma, Rob Cole at Cornell, two very, very talented coaches that prepare their guys uh, excellent for, for different events, and, and, and this is no different. But, you know, Mark Cody is third year at the helm, and Rob Cole entering his 21st season, and he's got a stand-in. I don't know if many people know who's in the corner right there. He's got a stand-in for him today, but uh, Kyle Dake is actually coaching Deshaun Garrett, so uh, he's, he's a name very familiar to the wrestling group. Well, and, and Mike, of course, Mike Gray is an assistant, so Mike Gray has done a fantastic job with, uh, with Rob Cole. Well, what you're, what you're going to find here is the athletes that are out there. Michael Leitner is the assistant coach at Oklahoma. He's the NCAA champion from uh, around 2000. He's a 34-pounder, 26. He works out with Patterson every day. And Mike Gray works out with Nash on every day. So, you know, they have quality wrestling kids in the room every day. Great programs is, get, is, is all about having great workout partners. You know, they say, uh, you know, champions come in pairs. And, and when you're working out with somebody and you're pushing each other every day in the room, it definitely rubs off and it, and it, is, it helps you create uh, that, uh, that, that, having someone push you in the room creates that intensity every day. Yeah, Patterson, it, I don't know if you noticed it just a minute ago, he took a half a shot to the left and he comes back to the right. He's got really good misdirection. Go one way, halfway in to the left, and then he'll change directions and change speeds and change levels and come across at the right. Uh, he's very good at those shots. At the end of two, still one nothing. It's uh, Nashon Garrett leading one nothing, and I'm I'm assuming that Patterson would take down here. I would think that would be a fair assumption. Yes. <laughs> Since we haven't anybody get any takedowns here, he's going to have to get that one point come off the bottom. Absolutely. What's your strategy involved there too? Yeah, well, you know what? I mean, <laughs> he's got to move and he's got to explode off the bottom. Oh, well, Patterson got to his feet quick. Now he's got his weight shifted forward. That's what I was talking about earlier. Now Sean is, you know, notice Patterson's head down on the mat and his hands are out, bracing all the weight. It's hard to work back to your feet when you've got all the weight on your hands. So quick. You know, he's so quick, Nashawn Garrett. He, was, he, he hit that switch. Patterson hit that beautiful switch on him, and he recovered real well and got that nice mount return. I'm not, I'm not sure you're not looking at this year's NCAA champ at 125. Let me, and, and he has, Nate Sean Garrett has just as good a chance as anyone to win that, that weight. Now, right now, if he rides him out for another 27 seconds and Patterson gets away, I mean, Garrett's going to win this on a, on a riding point. I think he needs a little more than 27 seconds. He's got 19 now. He's got a hit. <laughs> At least in my clarion math. Let me tell you, I didn't even look up. <laughs> The idea is to hold it Maybe down. Maybe you corrected me on that. Well, that takes care of that. We don't have to worry about it. Yeah, exactly. It's not going to be a difference anyway. You have ones here with a minute 20 left in the period. Third period. Sean Garrett, Sean Garrett was freshman of the year of the EIWAs last year. And uh, just like I said, if two freshmen, it's tough to place top three in the, in the NCAAs. I'm not sure he wasn't my freshman for the year at any weight, East Coast or West. He's a bunch. He's out of California. He wanted to be part of Cornell. It, when you talk to Rob Cole, it's an interesting story, and I, I don't know the whole story, so I shouldn't even say it or mention it, but how he got into Cornell. He wanted to go Cornell so badly. He was rejected, I believe, academically once or twice, and he just wouldn't quit. You know, he bugged the coach. He did anything necessary to become a, a big red Cornell, and he wanted to wrestle there, and he's there now, and he's doing a job. Let me tell you, oh, nice little slide by, little pass by on that arm. Just missed that single leg. Well, we have 40 seconds left in the regulation before we get into overtime here because it's still 1-1. Riding time, that's not a factor. 24 seconds for Garrett. A little fast back to Sean Garrett. Also, Patterson, a four-time state champ. And Sean Garrett, a two-time state champ, like you said, from the state of California. Two in, two in California is worth five in Oklahoma. <laughs> I mean, there's, you know, there's 700 schools wrestling in California, and they have one division. For, you know, when you're a state champ in California, you beat the best of 700. Oklahoma has, I think, five ten divisions. Seconds, ten seconds left here. Uh, yeah. Looks like we're going into OT here. Sudden victory. It's a great way to start this event off. We're here. I'm here with Wade Shouse. We're here at the 48th annual NWCA All-Star Classic at George Mason University. And we're going to sudden victory overtime. One minute, sudden victory.
I think you put Bishan in Dancing with the Stars and he'd do really well. He's, <laughs> he's got some great moves. <laughs> All right, one minute on the clock. Here we go. Takedown wins. Nice, nice high crotch. Nice little funk move. Let's see if he can hold on here. Thirty-five seconds. Hey, Sean Garrett. Nay, Sean Garrett is looks like he needs to hold that leg, Wade. Yeah, Patterson yeah. is very close to getting those two points. And what a move by Nashawn Garrett. Oh, unbelievable how he turned the tables on Patterson. There's going to be your NCAA champ this year. You watch. Just an amazing, amazing move by Nashawn Garrett. Unbelievable. Takes it at the end. Nashawn Garrett, 6 to 1 in OT. Beautiful move by Nashawn. And you know what? Patterson created the motion there. And you, you hate to see someone lose like that, but what a finish to that 125 pound weight class, Wade. Absolutely fabulous. Patterson had a deep high crotch shot. Anybody else in America, he'd have had the takedown. Now Sean said, uh-uh, sorry, Charlie, ain't happening. And he slipped and slid and never gave up and was gonna came out on top. Great opening to the, the not, I hope we have nine more like this.